Hello Aries, this is your girl Lynn here with Bohemian Heart Tarot. First and foremost, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And as always, if this video resonates with you, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe this, to this channel. Um, and if you have any further questions and you would like to book a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below, okay? So I'm going to be using tarot as well as channel messages to get insight for you, Aries, for the first week of November 2020, okay? So I am hearing um, family security. So a lot of you are focused on your money right now. I'm being drawn to look at the pentacles on the back of this card. Um, even though this is a love reading, I do feel like within the home, you're more concerned about your finances and obligations. I'm seeing someone kind of like brushing themselves off of something. So maybe some Reiki healing, um, and cleansing, maybe going to a waterfall, um, and getting some healing will be perfect. I do feel like someone is watching something. You could be checking your email a lot or watching um, to hear back. You're waiting on something to manifest. Again, I feel like this is really um, coming from your financial sector, even though this is a love reading. But I'm hearing someone say hoping and waiting. So you're like hoping. Um, so please make sure you ground yourself. Get yourself balanced, okay? You don't want to wear a lot of black during this time because it's going to attract more um, anxious energy because I do feel really scattered energy coming from um, your sign for this week. Okay, so also I do feel like I want to go ahead and pull some tarot because I feel like something is building up. Okay, so there is a build up for, for you um, for this week. Yes, you have been focused on finances, but let's get um, some clear, concise messages when it comes to love, okay? This is a younger earth sign energy, okay? So some of you could be um, dealing with an earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or some of you have just been planting some seeds and you're waiting on them to grow. Because I do feel like that's what this um, pentacle is representative of. I do feel like someone is going to have, um, for the first week in November, um, something profound to happen. Because I'm, I'm hearing breakthrough, okay? So some energy is going to break through. So seven of wands. Yeah, so something that you have been shielding yourself from is going to... Um, Okay, so this is what I'm also sensing. Something unexpected happening, but you're going to be ready. You're going to be protected. You're going to be grounding yourself. Like I said, you need to ground yourself. So you're going to be grounded, steady, and ready. I'm hearing. So you're going to whatever somebody tries to throw at you, you are protected, the universe is saying. So any upheaval, um, you're protected from it, okay? So if there is a love situation that is causing you to feel like this yes this is the emperor this is your energy aries so yes <clears throat> see this eye in this crystal ball you're intuitive you're going to get perfect clarity the first week of november and you're going to um you have your eye on the prize you're bossing up you are getting your life together i'm hearing someone say energetically what did I say? You all are waiting for a manifestation when it comes to money. So this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term success, investments. This can also be representative of the energy in the home, which I said originally I felt um, something shifting in the home. This is all about your security, finances, and then with these two peacocks, that's going to bring in the love. Ten of Pentacles is also a long-term commitment. So somebody may have been waiting and um, they're going to be getting a return of their investment, okay? Yeah, six of wands, this is a victory. This is a little nest egg. That's what I was seeing with the house. I was seeing like a nest almost, kind of a cottage style home. And then I was seeing security, okay? So also, yes, definitely finances and definitely um, some earth sign energy which is um, regarding getting grounded, 
and being rooted, okay? <clears throat> so yes, so make sure you're acting in your fiery energy. Um, and getting the healing that you need. This card can also be an Aquarius energy, but I feel like getting the healing that you need um, anytime you're going through like, you know, um, different emotions, because I do feel someone is saying no. So this is like a, if you do get rejection or if you um, in love, or if you don't get a victory, which I feel you will, okay? But if something doesn't work out in your favor, just make sure that you get the proper um, grief for the situation and you heal, okay? Very strong need to heal and to um, to ground, okay? Yeah, because I just, I don't even know why I just shuffle like that, but somebody's feeling like they're stuck in a situation, kind of tied to a situation. This could be tied to a family situation because this is a tree. So you could have deep roots in a situation um, or you just could feel stuck and not know which way to go, okay? The devil. Yeah, the devil and the hangman, you definitely feel stuck in bondage and tied to something with your hands behind your back. This could definitely be in a relationship. So if you feel stuck and it is due to a ten of pentacles situation, then this could also be representative of someone <clears throat> deciding to bind themselves to someone so this could be magic this could also um, speak to starting a new relationship okay this card could also be representative of capricorn um just like the star card could be representative of um an aquarius and the emperor card represents the aries energy which i'm sorry is right here a lot of major arcana cards okay yes somebody has been waiting i've already said that like three times somebody has been waiting has been planting seeds has been investing in a situation and i do feel like it's going to pay off you have the nine of pentacles which keeps popping out you have the ten of pentacles you have the six of wands which is victory and success um, so yeah, so I don't see, and the Queen of Pentacles, you have all the Pentacle cards in the deck. I believe this was the first card that popped out. This is also a couple. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This can also speak to someone who has, um, accomplished what they want and need financially, and they're grounded, and they're situated, and they're steady. They're ready to plant some seeds or someone. And this can also be the same exact energy, okay? But the energy is mirroring, and that's very good. Yes, temperance and balance. I feel like for the week, uh, first week of November, you're going to get balance and get your feet on some solid ground. Because again, you have been waiting, okay? You've been waiting. So let's see. What have you been waiting for? Okay. You've been waiting to get out of a trap, out of a dark night of the soul, um, or out of a dark cycle, out of a dark place. So you've been ready to come out of the dark to get rid of rejection. Okay. Yeah, you're ready to move away um, from, from a situation or move towards a situation depending on your story okay um yes i feel like a lot of people are ready to move um away but just as strongly i feel like you're ready to move towards okay so yeah lots of um forward movement okay so let's see what the romance angels have to say about this situation First week of November for Aries. What do the romance angels have to say? Separation. Yeah, like I said, I felt like you were moving away from someone in the separation. And then honeymoon and forgiving. Maybe a retreat is necessary because I did hear waterfall. Okay. 
Um, so let's see what they're saying. They're saying that um, you do deserve love and you're lovable. So I like that message. So free yourself. This is the whole eight of swords energy. Make sure that you free yourself from that energy. Okay. Um, now you're going to be moving into a situation where um, you do have chemistry with someone. But it's saying here release your ex. So um, that you can bring in this chemistry and attraction. Okay. So let's see if I can get any more messages. Let's see what sacred messages I can get. Let me get three sacred messages for Aries. First week of November in love. Okay, focus, protection, and meditate. Yes. So if you are experiencing any kind of stormy weather, um, um, there's a lot of, um, yes, Spirit is calling on you to trust. Trust your intuition. Um, yes. Okay. This is making sense. You have jealousy, protection, focus on protection, okay, and meditate. So, yeah, make sure you're protecting your energy. Again, there was a very strong need um, to get grounded. There was also a strong need. So, if you've been planting seeds and you've been working on something, you do want to protect your investments, protect your money. Um, I keep hearing that for some of you, Aries, protect your money because I do see a lot of, um, I feel a lot of hands reaching from your pockets. So let's see what else I can pull for you. Okay, let's see, Aries. Why is spirit saying protection? Protect evil eyes. Show me six cards, please. Okay, so yes. So this is, this is the same energy I was sensing with the Eight of Swords, someone feeling trapped like they're in prison within the home, okay? And this is the Divine Masculine because it's coming up as the Lord. Now, we do have a couple here. We have the wife, okay? So we have the Lord. We have the wife. Now, I do feel like as far as this couple, there are going to be some messages, so some communication and fast movement this week. So there is a message from spirit. This is an angel delivering this message. If it's any consolation, this is what the angel has to say. Lover and in despair. So someone needs to get their mind right and get grounded so that you're not feeling out of sorts like that. Um, if that's a strong warning to me as well. Um, for someone, um, if you're going through a dark night of the soul type of um. Let's get three cards from this deck just to bring some extra clarity. Yeah, poverty, family room, and concern. And I feel like this man right here, this number 33 man, is the one that needs to be concerned about poverty. So if you're worried about money, which kept coming up when I was doing the original reading, look within your home and make sure that you protect your home from burglary, burglaries, I'm sorry, from theft. Um, from anything that somebody is trying to do um, towards you, again, protection. The universe is saying you are protected. The divine is saying you are protected, but you also need to, pr to protect yourself um, as well. Look at this. Courthouse and then thief. Somebody protect your money, okay? Um, Aries, I know that has nothing to do with the love message, but protect your money, okay? And like I said, somebody may be taking a trip, or you may need a trip, or you may need to retreat, okay? So, journey, all right? Um, yes, that's that's the strong message that I'm being guided to um, repetitively focus on. And so, yeah, um, I'm not going to go into any more um insight or detail because you know your situation but you know whatever is going on Aries I do wish you all the best for the first week of November in love and in career because that seems to be one of your main focuses okay 
So yes, so what you focus on, you attract. So if you're focused on your finances and you're trying to manifest something new, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> in that arena, then you will attract what you're focusing on the most. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you're also protecting your energy. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for watching. Peace and namaste.